Wex 25 Stories. Celebrating the center's 25th anniversary with reflections and insights from the Columbus community. I was invited to do an artist talk around, um, I think the first time Glenn Ligon's work was here. I got to meet the artist, um, and I, more importantly, I really got to meet the center. You know, I'd been here for things now and again, but I didn't really have that engagement. Um, and that actually began <laughs> what was, what's been probably about a nine year kind of love affair with the place. Basically every semester, I'll connect my course to whatever happens to be the installation that's going on. In fact, one time Mark Bradford's installation was here, which I, is, is absolutely one of my favorites ever. So he was into this thing about found material and you know making do with what is available to you and, and actually making beautiful things out of it and be beautiful experiences out of it. And it was just this really incredible experience. It couldn't have happened if the Wexner didn't also have an ethics or an investment in outreach and, and, and engagement with um, broader community. Just the idea that every single semester I can connect here and um, students can have a meaningful connection with the great work, you know, so Carrie Mae Weems, Luke Toyman, Glenn Ligon. There's so many, even the events. Recently there was a play called The Events here and graduate seminar in critical trauma theory that I'm teaching was able to connect and we actually had a panel discussion after one of the shows. Um, so the fact that there's something with which students can connect every single semester says loads about um, what's coming through. And, and actually that's part of what's been super powerful for me is that it's co this constant flux of new and, con and contemporary um, and, and uh, engaged, socially engaged work that's, um, for me, it's perfect.